You can spend $6.99 to get yourself a good juicy burger, get you some fries and some onion rings, and that'll be a, a piece of heaven. Come to Mark's Audi and eat our burger, and if you don't like it, I'll give you all your money back. It ain't the best burger you ever ate. You often see me sometimes when it, when it really gets busy, rushing to the back, throwing on an apron, just beginning to move fast, talk fast. It, it's just exciting. But when I look back on my life, you know, I've had enemies in my life, a lot of enemies, and it really, really got way out there. I've done things that I'm ashamed to even share. It'd be a club brawl, it'd be a fight, it'd be a shootout, whatever it took. I had a group of guys and we wanted to be rappers. Our name, PKO, it was actually like drug weights, you know, like pounds, kilos, ounces. The desire to succeed was at such a high rate that I would have sold my soul to get to the top. We got ourselves in a bunch of uh, Harry situation. It wouldn't be anything for me to have ten to fifteen thousand dollars in my in my pocket. It became more than just rap. Now it's really about drugs. Once we got to that situation, things took off. I mean, we began to make a lot of money. Porsches, Benzes, big dookie chains that cost a lot of money, diamond rings, watches, houses. We began to buy very, very popular nightclubs. And at that time, I thought, this is it. This is the life. Gaining cars, girls, jewelry. I was having a lot of fun. It seemed like the party was all good. Hanging out with the buddies was all good. But then I'm laying in my bed at night. It's me and my conscience and my conscience is saying, this is not well. And me thinking, let me go buy something. I buy a Porsche. I get excited for it for a week, but it wouldn't leave me alone that something wouldn't write. There was a problem. That thought of not being satisfied, it just wouldn't go away. Well, when you look back on it, there's a hunger in my heart that these things are not filling. I took a liking to a girl, and so I would, I would follow this girl to church. I went to church, and the preacher began to preach about how, unless I had this Christ, that I was gonna be condemned to hell. The Bible says, repent and believe the gospel. I was really blown away by that. I was thinking, me? Going to hell? What is, what is this man talking about? You know, growing up in church, Sunday after Sunday, you got a Bible, you dressed up. That's what I thought church was. That's what you do, you, you put tithes in the basket. That's what you do. And it wasn't that way this time. This time I'm there and, and the Lord's allowing me to see my true condition and my true condition that I was not right with God. That's scary. You know, it's real scary to just think I'm at odds with my creator. This particular time, I began to cry out to the Lord, Lord, save me, forgive me, help me. And the glorious thing was God did just that. He awakened me, he opened my eyes. God gave me new life. It moved you to tears to know that the loss that a person has to go through in life sometimes just to, for God to bring them to that point and it moves you to tears to know that people are blind, like I was. The only way, the only truth, the only life is found in Christ. He saved sinners, came into the world to save sinners. That's good news.